what we're going to look at today then is working with photos and images. So we're going to look at how we can load images onto your laptop, so uh, from the memory card on your camera um, and putting them into the into the laptop ready for use. We're going to look at finding an image and renaming an image, checking the size and shape of images, red eye enhancements, so get rid of red eye, a bit of cropping, and then how to email and print your photographs. Most cameras nowadays have a memory card in them and here my old Sanyo is sat there with its 8 gig memory card poking out the side um, and all he would do is unhatch the, uh, the area where the memory card is stored and then pressing on it will actually spring it out and then you can actually take it out of the camera. So there's the uh, card outside of the camera um, and then on the side of the la most laptops nowadays you'll actually have a place where you can actually store uh, the memory card. And again, if I just click onto that, that will push that out. Um, and then what I can do is uh, insert my memory card into the machine, and then I'm ready to start to play. So once I've actually put my card into the side of the machine, then as you can see, I get a set of Im uh, a set of options that I can do to see my images, from importing pictures, viewing pictures, etc. Now, if I import the pictures, it will take a copy of all the pictures and put them onto my machine. Um, but often I don't want to do that, so what I'm going to do is come down to General Options here, and I'm going to open a folder to view the files. So here, as you can see, I've got my uh, my folder, the DSIM. I can click onto here, and there I can now see the various directories uh, of images that I've actually got. So I'm going to open the, the first one. And here, as we can see, I've got various uh, photographs that are ready for me to start to, to work with. So I can then choose an individual image, and I'm just double-clicking on the image. And there, as you can see, it's actually brought this image up straight into Windows Photo Gallery. OK, so I'm now in Windows Photo Gallery, and, and the first option I've got here is to fix the image. Now, as you can see, the image is um, of James holding a couple of beers while on holiday. Um, and he's uh, sitting on some sort of stripy couch and we've got a bad case of the red eye. So if I click on to fix then I've got various options down the side here that I can actually play with to, uh, to, to, to adjust this photograph. I can click on auto adjust and see what that does and as you can see that's changed the cast of the image uh, and made it slightly bluer and taken away some of the, uh, some of the redness out of the image. I could adjust the exposure, so I can actually make it darker or a little bit lighter. And I can change the contrast to give a, a greater contrast to the image. I could also adjust the colour. So I can change the saturation, so I can increase the, the amount of the, uh, of the reds or whatever that's in there. Or I could actually take it away, and by taking away the colour saturation I can effectively turn it into um, a, a monochrome image. Um, I can change the tint, so the tint can either go to, to the reds or to the blues and greens at the other end, so I can actually play about with that as well. I can also crop the picture, so by cropping the picture that would allow me to uh, hone in on the bits that were actually important in the image, um, and as you can see that crop would have a completely different connotation to a crop that showed the beer. So again I can actually sort of adjust the crop. I could also pick up these boxes here and adjust them so they actually show the bits of the image that I want to see. Okay. I can also rotate that frame so that I can actually get um, the image size that I want. And I can also specify the size of image that I, that I want. So if I want 8x10s then I can specify that and rotate the frame. Clicking on apply will then apply those changes. And then I've got red eye. So here I've got fixed red eye, and it will tell me underneath to drag the mouse pointer to draw a rectangle around the eyes I want to fix. So I'm just going to pick on these eyes, and there it is. We've now got James with the correct uh, colour eyes. So then I can go to File, and I can make a copy of this image, and that copy <coughs> is now being saved. I can give it a name, so I'm going to call it James. Um, and I'm going to save that onto my desktop and save. And there, uh, I've now got that image safe onto my desktop 
ready for me to, to use. Additional things I've got up here are email, where I could send that straight out as an email, or indeed I could send it straight to a printer. Notice as well I've got an option here for ordering prints, uh, and here I could actually select my print company from any of the ones that's, uh, that's on my system. Okay, I hope that helps. We'll talk later.